applications of trigonometry. This is such a beautiful beach. I really love to watch the sea waves and feel the gentle breeze. It is really one of my favorite places to be. I know, son. But do you know there is an even better place to enjoy this view? What could be a better place than standing on the sand and savoring this view? Look over there. Do you know what it is? Yes, dad. That is a lighthouse. Exactly. Now come with me. and let me take you to the top of the lighthouse yay the view from up here is really better dad we can see many things from here that we normally couldn't see like those ships they look so tiny and so close to each other but they are not as close as they seem they are actually very far from each other is there any way to find the distance between these two ships yes we can use the concepts of trigonometry to find the distance between the ships but first we need to find the angles of depression from our point of view to both the ships How will we find the angles of depression? We will use the same method we used previously for finding the angle of elevation. That means we will use a clinometer, right? Yes. Let me get the clinometer from my bag. This clinometer will help us in finding the angles of depression. As we observed the first ship through the straw on the clinometer we see that the thread is pointing towards 45 degrees thus the angle of depression of the first ship will be 90 minus 45 degrees that is 45 degrees now we shall observe the second ship in the similar way we see that the thread is pointing towards 60 degrees thus the angle of depression of the second ship will be 90 minus 60 degrees that is 30 degrees now if we look at the board in front of us the height of the lighthouse is mentioned as 120 meters thus we can interpret a geometrical figure here and use the concepts of trigonometry to find the distance between the two ships for understanding purposes let's name the geometrical figure the segment ab represents the height of the lighthouse segment ac represents the distance of the first ship from the base of the lighthouse whereas segment ad represents the distance of the second ship from the base of the lighthouse and segment cd represents the distance between the two ships also let ray bp be the horizontal line hence as earlier discussed the angle of depression for the first ship or angle pbc is 45 degrees and the angle of depression for the second ship or angle pbd is 30 degrees now Since angle PBC is 45 degrees, angle BCA will also be 45 degrees because they both are alternate angles. Similarly, since angle PBD is 30 degrees, angle BDA will also be 30 degrees because they both are alternate angles. Now, if we observe only triangle BAC here, with respect to angle bca we know the opposite side ab which is the height of the lighthouse and we need to find the measure of the adjacent side ac which is the distance of the first ship from the lighthouse the trigonometric ratio involving the opposite side 
and the adjacent side of the triangle is the tangent ratio thus tan 45 will be equal to ab divided by ac and since tan 45 is 1 and the value of ab is 120 meters the equation becomes 1 is equal to 120 divided by ac thus we get the value of ac as 120 meters hence we can say that the first ship is 120 meters away from the base of the lighthouse now if we observe only triangle bad here with respect to angle bda we know the opposite side ab which is the height of the lighthouse and we need to find the measure of the adjacent side ad which is the distance of the second ship from the lighthouse the trigonometric ratio involving the opposite side and the adjacent side of the triangle is the tangent ratio thus tan 30 will be equal to ab divided by ad and since tan 30 is 1 upon root 3 the equation becomes 1 upon root 3 is equal to 120 divided by ad thus we get the value of ad as 120 root 3 meters if you take the value of root 3 as 1.732 the value of ad becomes 120 multiplied by 1.732 which is equal to 207.84 hence we can say that the second ship is 207.84 meters away from the base of the lighthouse now we have found the distance of both the ships from the lighthouse but to find the distance between the two ships we subtract the distance of the first ship from the lighthouse from the distance of the second ship from the lighthouse hence we get the distance between the two ships as 207.84 minus 120 meters which is 87.84 meters hence we can say that the two ships are 87.84 meters away from each other that is really awesome dad even though we are standing so far away from the ships we still managed to find the distance between them well that is the power of trigonometry it makes our life much easier in many ways when we apply it in our lives now i'm really starting to love trigonometry well that's really good to hear son